I love that almond story because I love almonds, but it made me a little bit thirsty. Yeah, uh, well, perfect timing because we'll sip rosé with Whispering Angel Rosé, definitely worthy of a royal treatment. Each year, Charleston, South Carolina becomes a mecca for foodies and wine aficionados from around the world. Now in its 13th season, Charleston Wine and Food promises and delivers five delicious days of culinary celebrations. Charleston Wine and Food is a five-day culinary experience in Charleston, South Carolina. And I, it's always fun because you can hear murmurings as guests enter the village, wondering where the rosé garden is and what's going to be new and exciting from Chateau d'Esclans year after year. The producers of Whispering Angel, Rock Angel, Le Clan, and Garousse Rosé offers a uniquely entertaining experience as participants taste and learn about the Chateau's award-winning wines. You know that wherever Chateau d'Escalons ends up, there's going to be a serious party. Are you ready to rock? They bring unparalleled energy. So give it a spin, spin again, spin, spin, spin. They absolutely bring this flavor that enhances Charleston wine and food. When you drink Whispering Angel, it just flows. And it would absolutely not be the same without them as a part of our party. The land of rosé. Winemaker Paul Chevalier holds court each year at Charleston Food and Wine, engaging his eager audiences with the history and process behind each of Chateau de Clans rosés. Born over 100 acres of ancient land, each of four vineyards features a different kind of soil from valley to summit, and therefore different varieties of grapes. From the valley's alluvial soil comes Whispering Angel Rosé. Grenache and other red grapes are crushed, and the juices are soaked with their skins in stainless steel barrels for three hours to produce the palest of pink color. Because the Chateau Rosés have no sugar, it's actually illegal to produce sweet rosés in Provence. The fruit notes flow into the softest of drinking sensations. No one was really drinking rosé 12 years ago, so we say it all started with a whisper, but now it's time to rock. Named for the rockier soil farther up the vineyard's hill, Rock Angel is produced in half stainless, half oak barrels to create a sharper, cleaner mouthfeel. Paul suggests pairing it with oysters and other shellfish. The third member of the Chateau's family tree, Les Clans, begins with grapes from older vines, some 50 to 60 years old. Lighter in color than the Whispering Angel and Rock Angel rosés, its richness and lingering finish make it a most unique and memorable wine. It smells almost like some sort of exotic tropical fruit. And you have a little vanilla from the oak. And just very unusual, you said you would never guess it's rosé. Uh, because this is a richer style of rosé, is this will hold up to much, much richer dishes of food. So uh, you could have this with like a, a truffle or risotto. And for the ultimate in rosé excellence, it's Garousse. Produced from century-old grapes grown at the top of the vineyard's hill, the rich, lush creaminess of Garousse is truly a taste to be treasured. It reminds me of a, a vintage champagne um, without the bubbles. Rich, creamy, and then quite full, full and satisfying. Four vineyards, four unrivaled rosés, each proudly displaying its unique color, flavor, and finish. It's fair to say that everyone who entered the rosé garden at Charleston Wine and Food left with a smile and a new respect for rosé. Join us next week for even more Epicurean adventures. Right here on Food Quest.